Japan. Welcome to one of my favorite kind of restaurants in Japan. This is a Kaiten Sushi shop. Now in Japan, there's all kinds of sushi. There's high-end sushi, budget conveyor belt sushi, discounted supermarket sushi, even hard to see micro sushi, which I featured in a recent episode. How many do you think you could eat? Sushi is one of the most popular foods in Japan. But believe it or not, we're here not to focus on the actual sushi. We're gonna be going on the non-sushi items, the not raw items. And they do have that, and there is a reason why. And to help me explain all of it is my co-reporter, Jennifer Julian. How you doing? I'm very good, thank you. Bonjour. Do you go to Kaiten Sushi Shops? Ever? I don't know. I haven't been to Kaiten Sushi Shops in years because with my work, I have the opportunity to go to high-end uh, sushi restaurants. So I am very excited to try this Pula Sushi place. Especially, as you said, that we are not going to eat raw fish. No. Well, they do have it on the menu, but we're going to be eating the other stuff. Starting with a burger. Huh? <laughs> what? Yep, special sushi shop burgers are on the menu here. So we decided to give this a try to see if we could recommend a burger at a, you know, sushi shop. Oh, check this out. This has English. Choose language. They don't have French. No French. <laughs> oh, wow. That's hamburger. <laughs> ah, they have meat and fish. Yeah. Alright, let's order one of each. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well the good thing about having everything electronic, digital, is that you can change so many things. You can change the yeah. menu based on what's fresh that day. So it makes it really easy for okay. everybody, anyone. And it's a lot of fun. It is. <laughs> After about a minute, the burgers came on the express lane. All right, fish or meat? Fish or meat? M meat? Okay, fish. <laughs> <laughs> it is not typical at all to have hamburgers at a Kaiten Sushi restaurant. It's just, it's, it is a little bit unique. There's a reason why though. There's a reason why. Do you know the reason? Why is that? Let's ask a professional. This is Tsuji-san, regional manager at Kura Sushi. Pan ni, tateba osushi-san rashiku komeko o tsukattari to ka, あの、お酢をちょっと混ぜてね、ふっくら刺したりとかして、お寿司屋さんならではのハンバーガーっていうのを、ま、作りました。Ladies first, go ahead and try your fish burger. At last, he feeds me this boy. Oh, it's so good. 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 But wait, Jennifer didn't forget her drink, did she? When there's no wine, she goes for beer. I get the jockey. Self-service, this is nice, I like that. Press. Wow. These automated beer pouring machines make sure you get the perfect and consistent pour, and even thanks you when you're done. Isn't it amazing? It's perfect! Now Jennifer's ready for her sushi shop burger review. How is it though? Surprisingly, it's not bad. No? It's good. To me, it really tastes of mackerel. And yeah, it's like definitely, you know, with the onion and the bread and the lettuce. If you just add some tomato, that's really like a burger without the meat, with fish. Oh, I and, see. But the fish taste is pretty strong, I think. So you have to like fish to have this. I never dreamed I'd be eating a hamburger at a sushi shop. The bun's a little thick, but it's a surprisingly good burger. Bon appetit also. Yeah, I'm actually looking forward to this. I always take my burger out of the wrapper like oh, this. Okay. That looks... Uh, Lots of filling, huh? Yeah. It, it, I, I love this piece of, of tempura uh, onion on top of it with some sesame in there, some garlic I see in there, some toasted garlic, some sauce on here, and the meat looks really good. Mm. This is a great option if you don't eat sushi, right? right a right. burger that comes on the belt, this yeah, is yeah, yeah. like a dream come true. Oh my 
my god, that looks so good. All the flavors really do come together well in this. It, it is a typical burger. I just think that that tempura, the tempura onion on top of it with the sauce, it just wow. brings it all together. That looks maybe so Maybe extra good. oil, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> I don't it know, does, but. yeah. It, it use the whole thing of glittering that mine doesn't have. I like that they put the lettuce here too because it kind of keeps the, the bread from getting too soggy. Mm -hmm. I, like the, I like the garlic. I'm a garlic lover. I like the garlic in here. There's a lot to like about the Sushi Shop Burger. It can be handled in just a few big bites. There's a lot more on the menu. You can take what you want from the belt, but there's that touchscreen menu above the table. This is fun. I yeah, just, I, I just like, like ordering. I just like ordering stuff. <laughs> I just want to. No bad. No, 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 pas mille cut, no. Ice cream, cakes. I think they had some fruit, didn't they? Here's some mango. Okay, let's just keep it. Let's keep it there for now. This is all start. It's gonna come off of the express line. See, you can just take whatever you want on the bottom, but when you order something, it comes on the express line. So we're gonna see a big train of food coming in about a minute from now. It takes a couple of minutes for your order to be processed, but why take orders at all? あの、本当にもう流れてるものを取っていただくっていうのが、ま、回転寿司の基本的な形だったんですけど、今お客様がいろんなものを食べたい。で、便利に食べたいっていうようないろんなお客様のその、あの、要望に対してあの、どんどん
You want to try one too? I need to try it. Can I? Yeah, That's it's one of the most interesting sushi, I think. Um, and I, I can only find this at, at Kaiten Sushi Shops, but... Because that looks so good. It is. It's, this one is glittering too. Itadakimashou. Itadakimasu. I like that. <laughs> mm. It's like yakiniku. It's like yakiniku and it's all put together for you. Yeah. It's even better than the one, you know, which I thought I would prefer. Mm. This one is even better. Mm. It's really good. But wait, there's more. A Hamburg meatball sushi smothered in a kind of gravy sauce. This one I only find at Kaiten Sushi restaurants as well. It's a Hamburg sushi. I love the way that they put that on rice. It's like having a hat on top of there with a big dab of mayonnaise. It's a, Kids it's absolutely sure. adore this one. <laughs> I'm serious, try I'm serious. It, no, no, you, you no, go you ahead. No, you're the food, no, you're you the food critic. No. Rock, scissors, paper, go. Go, no. come on. Try it, you should try it first. I will see your face and then I know if it's safe or not for me to try. Traditional sushi eaters wouldn't put this on their list, but it's here at Kaiten Sushi. The final comment? Kids are gonna love this one. <laughs> exactly how fresh is that sushi going around the restaurant belt? The one thing I love about Kaiten Sushi is that there's something for everybody. This is a family restaurant. That's one of the reasons why um, there's such a wide variety of, of things on the menu. So if you're a woman who's pregnant, you can't eat raw fish. If you're a kid, you can't eat raw fish. There's lots of other stuff. Or you just don't like raw fish. The menu is huge, and that's what makes this place, well, it's a place where everybody can find something that they like and be really happy. I think so, yes. Happy means games on the table, too. It kind of looks like gachapon, capsule toys in a machine. I lost a few times, but after 15 plates, we won the third try. Atari, win! What's inside? Only one way to find out. Jennifer opens it up to find a small plastic top you can spin on the table. It's just a little something to say thank you and come again. And people do come again, often. Kaiten Sushi is sushi for all. A totally different experience to traditional nigiri sushi shops. They put as much fun and convenience into the experience so every customer leaves with a full stomach 